and then from there we would start maybe thinking about a baseline because um, sure, yeah. everything's as quickly as to get to the the full idea in that loop we just um, we cannot sit all day long we just can't do it yeah we Same. need to get we some need. idea of a sound here so what I'll do is I'll maybe just just so I can get more of an idea of this kick so it's Oh, we'll do it. That's got that wee background. So what we'll do is we'll just put the the fan filler on here. Just try and get these drums sounding as close as we can for now. Yeah, that's got a good one. So I'll try turning them, some of these down around. This one. I'll try to work around the So that's what we do, we just kind of, as you can see what Barry Ento's just done there, like literally volume changes the drums a little bit, especially the loops, and you can just go back to zero as he showed you, and then just slowly dial things in, just to get the volumes roughly right, um, because it goes back to everything just as mainly getting the, the, the chunk of the idea down, don't worry, yeah. we don't worry about mixing and all these things just now, because we just... We yeah, because there's, there's absolutely no... We've got a couple of EQs on, 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 on these ones, but that's all you need to, you know, for, for, for the minute. What we do next is what we want to do is add this bass line. And one of the kind of favourite plugins I've got, and I would recommend it again, um, if you can afford it, is, is the Arturia range. Now, the Mini Moog is it's brilliant because it's got such a wide variety of basses, but I think for, for this style, maybe we'd want to look at a couple of sort of like sub basses. Really give it that sort of like low end end. So, we'll work with um, the sub dub for for the for the for the minute, and what we really want to look at, I suppose, is just seeing what key this is in. Um, I'll maybe tell you what I did last night. Tell you what I did last night. Tell you what I did last night. So basically that's just a bit of a lucky guess there, <laughs> but it's in C, so if you can complain that. If you really want to figure out, you know, your baseline relative to, to working with the vocal, I would, you know, if the, the note C works, I would try anything kind of within that, that key, so. So. We quite like minor chords in a lot of our records, so I'll maybe work with C minor. And if it works, it works. Tell you what I did last night. 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 Tell you what that, that key works, so we can say we're in C and C minor, which is C, C E flat G C. So what we want, we want to see if we can come up with like a cool. A cool bass line that works for this one. Quite nice. 
case that one, I think. <coughs> keep it in with that keep, one. Well. Yeah, keep in with the E flat. So I'll just record this in just very loosely. For a moment, I'll put I'll quantize this to every sixteen, so it's just it's got a bit of rhythm to it. I think that one works. It's quite a simple bass line. It's just C octaves, and we're including the the other notes as part of C minor. So C octave G, and then sort of a sort of like to kind of finish the the hook, going back to the E flat. So kind of gives it that a little bit of resolution, even over over two bars. So I think it's quite quite resonant that C, isn't it? It's quite strong. So we'll try and find another one. <coughs> 